Yeah. So I'm squad leader Mark Discombe. Uh, I'm now the officer commanding Battle Group Memorial Flight designate. So I've got another three months of fun before I take control of the uh, flight and take command at the end of October. Yeah, it, it's very different. Um, certainly from discussions with the veterans, uh, we certainly had one Tony Cooper, one of our aircraft is painted in his colours here, the Mark V. Uh, when he first arrived on his squadron, he was asked how many hours has he got, and he was told, and he told his boss, none. I've never seen a Spitfire before. Um, for a modern day pilot to come to the Battle of Britain Memorial flight, you're very experienced. It's a minimum of two and a half thousand hours flying experience. Um, to fly the Spitfire in a hurricane, you've got to have a fast jet background, uh, and then fly the Lancaster and the Dakota. We're looking at uh, a lot of experience flying the heavy aircraft, Hercules A400 MC17 in the Royal Air Force. So vastly more experienced than it was back in 1940. The Spitfire was a change in generation of aircraft. So you had the old aircraft, which were um, wood and metal frames covered with Irish linen and dope, very much like the Hurricane. This changed it in that it had a all metal construction. Um, and the skin of the aircraft became some of the strength of the aircraft. So you could make it lighter, you could make it more aerodynamic. Um, the wing profile of the Spitfire with its, its classic elliptical wing, although this aircraft had a little bit of a change to the edge of the wings with clip wings, um, reduced drag. Um, it gave the aircraft a great performance to climb and a great turning performance. And all of the pilots that flew it in combat would say they were comfortable if they met a Messerschmitt and saw it, they could outturn it. Lincolnshire certainly, um, known as Bomber County, um, a hugely important part of the RAF taking the war back to Germany during the Second World War. So, um, you know, a vast amount of bomber bases around here. It's one of the reasons why we have the International Bomber Command Centre in Lincoln. Um, you don't have to travel very far to find old airfields, to find um, memorials to those people that have flown and paid the ultimate sacrifice for our country. hugely important. Um, uh, pilots from all over the Commonwealth were involved, but certainly on uh, the Eastern European side. They'd suffered heavily at the beginning of the war as the uh, German army invaded through and the Nazis invaded Europe. Um, a lot of them made their way across to the, uh, the uh, a lot of them made their way across to England, uh, where they then joined the Royal Air Force or other um, uh, arms of the services. For us, 303 Squadron was the highest scoring, a Polish squadron, the highest scoring um, uh, squadron in the Battle of Britain. Uh, the aircraft behind me is a Mark 16 Spitfire, so subtly different, low back with bubble canopy, clip wings, and it's painted in the colour schemes of the commander of the 313 Polish wing, which was uh, Group Captain uh, Alexander Gabsevich. I think it's huge. The, the Royal Air Force is now, uh, being the, the oldest independent air force in the world, has cemented its place within the UK history. Um, when you look at the Battle of Britain, a defining moment of our nation's history. So hugely important for us to celebrate 100 years in what is generally, compared to Army and Navy, a, a young service, but is definitely now uh, in the modern world incredibly important.